What the absolute spaghetti is this? You're probably thinking, what's wrong in this pick? Well, this two boys are two YouTubers that react to cringe videos. Hey, I am a king simp. Get it right. And now a kid made a cringe pick of them. What a freak. Let's just take a closer look as to what is even going on here. What am I even doing? I'm patting him on the back and he looks absolutely terrified. I don't even look like this. Why does this dude just look like a Chucky doll? <laughs> what? I really do not like anything about this. Let's let's just not make this a thing. Let's just move on. Oh my god. I mean, what do I even say to this? When you bleed, you die. Is that like if you shed any blood, you're just gonna die? I mean, unlucky ladies, when it's that time of the month, you just dead. <laughs> like, that's it. I know it might feel like you're dying, but you are. They could also just be pointing out the obvious that you, <laughs> when you bleed, you die. I mean, thank you for teaching us all just basic human problems. This one is just captioned as, ew, what is that? Well, I'll take one for the team here, guys, and use what's left of my Giga Chad. 5G brain so you guys don't destroy your brain cells thinking about this. Well, what it looks like is they're about to drink bin juice and no one in the comments can defend them by saying, actually Ben, it's an acquired taste. They're drinking the nectar of the gods. Bruh, they're drinking bin juice. Quite literally, they need to get in the bin. Okay, so this one here, to be honest, I, I don't really know what they were thinking, whoever made this, because it just makes people in the LGBTQ community just look really bad. So this one has been captioned as, this is gross, no consent. It just starts off with this dude here asking, hey, you know, I like you, do you like me too? You know, pretty normal thing to do when you have a crush on someone. But the dude's like, you know, oh, sorry, you know, I'm not gay. You know, pretty polite response saying, nah, I'm not interested in that sort of thing. Sorry, that should be it, you know, just move on. Then this weird girl over here decides to trick this guy who said he's not interested by blindfolding him and making him kiss another guy. And it, it's so weird and bad. It just makes the LGBTQ community look like a bunch of individuals who don't respect boundaries or basic human decency, which is obviously not the case. So don't think this dumb little gacha kid is going to change that. Yeah, and here they are. They're kissing and you're like, what, what are you doing? And then the cherry on top of the pie, it's not even a good cherry and it's there's no pie it's he's just like hey i i thought you said you went gay it's like bruh yeah he did he did say that to you you just tricked your way into kissing him we're in 2022 and people just still just don't respect people's sexualities if they don't like boys then that should be it accept that and move on not go in and trick this poor kid into kissing the dude i mean i know it's not real but it's just so stupid and annoying that they even do this type of thing. This one is just captioned is I don't even know anymore and then you just got these two absolute chads on the left and then I don't even know what this flag is here but you've just got this dude saying I'm gay stupid. I mean oh, how could you not tell that he's got the big gay? Dude over here is wearing an eye patch. I'm not even gay but I know if you wear an eye patch you got the gay. I don't even know what flag this is. Let me just look it up real quick. I think it's the lesbian flag. I mean, I'm not even sure anymore. This doesn't really make sense because I, it doesn't that technically mean that they're both gay, but I'm not sure anymore. Like I said, there's flags for everything. Some people probably identify as a fart. I wonder what that flag would look like. Now I found this video and I don't really know if it's meant to be sort of like how gacha kids sort of deal with haters. I don't really know, but it, it really is something special. Just check this out. To all the haters out there, this one's for you. So listen closely. Say that I'm cringe or tell it to my face. Oh wait, you can't. You have a big case. You are very cringe and you are spaghetti. And also this part right here where she says we can't call her cringe because we don't have a briefcase. I, I literally have no idea what that even means, okay? Like, imagine, <laughs> imagine if I just responded to a hate comment I got being like, well, you don't even have a briefcase, so I ain't <laughs> Mama calling you home? Guess she ain't got no bone. Bruno is mine, cause he's so damn fine. This is the end of the rap. You better go to your crib and take a nap.
Bro, is this a diss track on a dog or something? Mama calling you home, guess you got no bone. Mama calling you home, guess you ain't got no bone. <laughs> what? I just want to apologize to my viewers because I did not want you watching my video unaware you were going to be roasted by this child. I mean, I am, I am so sorry. Right, welcome back guys to another Getcha Life Cringe. I'm not really sure how many of these I have left in me to do, but you all enjoy them, so that's what matters. If you enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Remember, do not harass anyone in the Gatcha community. Not all of them are bad. It's only a few dumb kids. Right, let's get into the video. Let's make terrible world events into a trend. Hmm, let's not. I mean, this needs to stop. Honestly, it's embarrassing. The amount of fan edits of what's going on in Ukraine right now isn't some... TV show story, it's real life, but obviously gacha kids love to do this type of thing because they suck and they like romanticizing or doing whatever, whatever it is to do pretty bad things. I mean, it's so dumb. I mean, I'm not even going to entertain this one. The wills I'm pansexual. My name is Angelina. I love pans and everybody. I don't know what it is, I, I just don't like that style of voice. It actually just makes my back crease. I mean, where's the holy water? I also don't really know what this kid was going for. You don't look pansexual. I mean, how are they supposed to look? So if they don't have blue boots, a pink top, and a yellow white dress, they're not pansexual? Okay, cool, that just makes total sense. Gacha kids are always known for their great storytelling, you probably know that by now. Like this one here, it's just got two drunk parents, I mean, this guy on the right looks a little bit more than drunk. The, the mother just yeets the baby. The dude, the dude on the right is just doing whatever at this point. He's not even on this planet. And the kid is just thrown out the window. I mean, Jesus, my, my heart bleeds for you. I mean, I said to myself, I need to stop doing gacha videos, but you all just seem to like it so much. I don't know why, because honestly, my head is just completely numb at this point. I look at this stuff and I'm like... Yep, just another day in the bad side of the gacha community. I mean, I'm being honest, if I was in high school, I'd rather be caught licking a toilet seat than be caught having this type of gacha cringe on my device. Right, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting back into the swing of making videos, so hopefully I'll be able to keep up a bit of a streak of actually having content coming out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Helps out the channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time.